Hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel. And today, well, I'm hoping you're going to consider this as big a treat as I do. Coast Guard was released this morning. Or actually, I guess midnight last night. So forgive me for not staying up till 1 in the morning to make a video. But uh, it's 6 in the morning here in BC. And we are looking at our first big glimpse of this new game. Same people that brought us uh, Maritime Search and Rescue, which I really enjoyed too. Although I see on Steam this morning people complaining, oh don't buy this game, it's the same people that brought Search and Rescue and they never supported the game and it was a perfect game, we played it end to end. Anyway, it's out, we're out, we're gonna play Let's jump into new game. I sat down to play about five minutes of it this morning, and, uh, well, an hour and a half later, <laughs> here we are getting a recording started. So let's have a look. Um, I'm impressed all the heck with it. And let's just put it that way. It is cool. So, without further ado, there's a little bit of cut scenery. I'll leave you to it. A simulator with a story. Uh-oh. <laughs> You've lost your mind. You idiot! Turn around this minute! Yes, I am. We're a team. We're a team. What are you doing here? This is private property. <laughs> All right, here we go. On the high seas, ten hours earlier. Don't try to follow me. This is going to have consequences. That is a really bad idea. All right, so here we are. This is our little rescue boat. And they want us to head over here. WASD will maneuver your boat for you, which is kind of convenient. You can release your mouse cursor by pressing the right button. That allows you to access things like the log or of course you can do all of your controls with it if you will but much simpler to uh, do it that way you can also hold down the right mouse button and move around the screen oh we're getting a little bit of rain huh, that's really odd it didn't rain the last time So I take it we are off to rescue his crew member, Fatima. So, need a little circle on our mini-map. Oh my god, he's a funny looking character. Hey, where you going, buddy? Ben, listen to your colleagues. You have no idea how dangerous they are. Well, I'm about to find out. Yeah, it wasn't raining the last time I played through this, when I first tried the game. So that's pretty cool. Apparently the weather is indeed random. Whoa, I don't think I want to be right in his way because it's going to get a little deep. Follow the fleeing ship and confront the owner. Alrighty. I don't seem to be able to gain on it, so we'll just have to do that. They say and follow her. Holy crap. What the heck? I wasn't expecting that. Oil rig rack. Why don't you just listen to me for once? I can't lose these traffickers. They kidnapped our engineer. I have to get on that deck. 
Holy. Well, this is a little different for the uh, search and rescue style. They've kidnapped our engineer. Uh-oh. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just intrigued to hell with this game. Being ex-Canadian Coast Guard. Uh, yeah, I just love this. I hope all of you guys enjoy it, too. It is really well done. I've only got the graphics up at about half, because it's capable of some pretty good stuff, let me tell you. Whoa. Oh, man. This guy's like a rash. You can't shake him. Come on, guys. Time to get him. Visible. What do they mean? Are they going to try to escape? Who cares? I'm heading over to you and getting on board. Oh, come on, where's my button? Yep, oh, there we go. You're not tricking me again. I know you're here somewhere. Okay. Navigates the strange ghost ship alone. He has no recollection of what happens after arriving. Alright, well this can be our first. This is sort of your save points. There we go. And we'll see what happens. Oh. My head. What? What happened? Why? Why is it so dark? I have to get a light on in here. What the hell? What kind of place is this? No, I'd say it's inside a ship, buddy. Damn it. Why can't I remember? I have to get out of here. New logbook entry. So if we click the rice mo <laughs> rice mouse right mouse button, that will allow us to get down here and click our log. What is this place? A factory? The ground is moving. I can't see well enough. Okay, we need to get the power going and look for something that looks like a mains switch. So, wow, that can't be good. Those hatch doors are some chunky monkey piece of business. To have one bent up like that is uh, not great. Left control to crouch so you can enter narrow shafts. Okay, hmm. what do we got here? Symbols on objects means you can interact. Press the left mouse button. A hammer. All right. Hmm. I think I'll hang on to this. All right. Good for you, Finny. All right. Now, I think we can get through here. All right. Anything going on here? This is pretty nice, though, that they've done all of this, uh, considering it's just supposed to be a... Look for a fuel pump. You know, it's supposed to be just sort of a uh, ship simulating type game. They've really gone... Uh, ooh, what do we got here? This might be the fuel pump. Oh, air compressor. Okay. Ah, here we go. Power this generator with a fuel pump. Maybe it'll help me find to get some light going here. Maybe this hammer will help. Looks like the lever is on, but it's corroded. I can only move it. Okay. So, if you go to your inventory, we can actually... Oops drag the hammer to the item there we go and give her a bash and we're good Where the hell am I? Crap. okay I guess I can turn her light off hmm. oh one turns it on but the F turns it off I have to take a look around maybe I'll find some objects that will jog my memory a bit yeah I get a feeling the object I'd like to find right now would be a sawed off some power, find out what happens. Take a closer look, I may find something to jog my memory. Alright, so we gotta have a little waddle about, do we? 
That works for me. Ah, uh, you have to stay a certain distance from the door. Good to know. What else we got going on? Hmm, blue light. This must be the place. Well, that door is locked. Hmm. Nope, that's all flooded down there. That's where we came. Something going on here? Whoa! What the heck? Oh no, I was just going to say this looks like a dream sequence. <laughs> I'm dreaming, I have to wake up. It's just a bad dream. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh. What's up then? I didn't sleep well yet. Nightmare? Yes. There was a ghost ship. Dreamed I was locked inside. And I couldn't remember why. Well, you're not locked in now. Except maybe because of me. <laughs> you didn't actually fall asleep in the office, did you? What? No. No. <laughs> Typical. MSC has been trying to reach you for minutes, Finn. Oh my god, minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Entire minutes. Boy, he's a cranky looking turkey, isn't he? Daniel Defoe, this oh. is MSC. Daniel Defoe, this is MSC. Over. Defoe here. The Captain Figment deep sea fisher has reported that they're taking on water. No. Uh -oh. The team has already started fixing the leak, but they're going to need help draining the ship. Roger. Can you give us the coordinates? They've been transmitted. It's near the offshore ore rig. Okay, we're on our way. All right, new loggy book entry. See a distress call from a fisher water ingress. We need to navigate to his position and attach a pump. So even the big ship can be steered with WASD. If you want to use the uh, bow thrusters, you can do so with your moose. And don't expect it to handle like the small vessel. They've gone considerably more realistic than that. There are also amazing treats like this. Yes, we are now in the bridge. If we go back to F1, that'll give us our outside position. So we gotta head over to this little fishing boat and find out what his issue is. And we have all of our camera views up here. So you can see right down to first person, we can go use the water cannon, we can go to the bow, the stern, we've got all kinds of followers. We can also hit the tab and go to the daughter boat. Oh, just anywhere off the screen. Pause, reload, options, and quit. Well, I don't think we need any of that. There doesn't appear to be a uh, fast movement or fast forward type of thing as there are in a lot of these to sort of fill the gaps. Because, uh, you know, the ocean, she can be a big place. <laughs> Alright, I don't want to uh, exactly go broadsides on this thing. So I think we'll just head down the stern a little bit, see if we can't swing in parallel. Always a little better. And although we do get a depth indicator, we don't actually get a speed indicator how many knots we're actually doing. Kind of a interested Captain thing. Smith, this is Daniel Defoe, over. We heard you've been taking on water. Affirmative. We're able to keep the worst of it at bay for the time being, but we're definitely going to need help to keep this leak under control. We're already nearby and are going to bring some powerful bilge pumps on board. That sounds great. Thanks a lot. Okay. That 
appears to be close enough that we can throw the pump line across. There you go. Okay, but it could take a while. The ship took on a lot more water than we initially assumed. No problem. Dude, cut down on the donuts. to support you guys. So as long as the Defoe is pumping out water at this position, we're not going anywhere. Okay, new rock book entry. What do they got to say? Helping the pigment to pump out the water. Coleman is on the bridge and Fatima is still having breakfast in the galley. That's why she's so Fatima. Uh, use the time to discuss the operation. Also radio the captain and get the particulars of his ship. So let's switch to uh, first person. And uh, here we are. Here's our good buddy Coleman. Let's see what he has to say. What's your take on the situation, Coleman? It's definitely going to take some time for all that water to be pumped out. I'm just wondering what a trawler is doing this far out, way past the territorial waters. I'm guessing he's fishing for deep sea fish. I think we should run a check on the captain. All right. Do you have the ship data ready or a data check? Well, uh, no, I have to run the check first, dude. <laughs> That's kind of the way those things work. Yes, you. So, we have to do that. If we hit F1, it'll take us back to this. We can hit our radio. The pump has been installed and is up and running. Super. Our men will begin draining. I actually have a few questions. Okay. Call name and IMO number, please. IMO number. Call name. T K K B. All right. I am number five two four five four three four. All righty. Home port, please. What is your home port? Port Deckendale. Okay. And the owner of the ship. The owner of the ship. The Nemo Shipping Company. <laughs> so of course it is. And what are you fishing for? What are you fishing for? Deep sea fish, primarily alfonsinos. Oh. Oh, it's your license, dude. Oh, okay. Maybe not. You know that you're fishing in the exclusive economic zone. Only the bordering state is allowed to access and utilize the resources here. We are aware of that. True story, folks. We are selling <laughs> the flag of the bordering state oh, okay. and are also registered there. That's legit. If he's telling the truth, that's legit. Okay, we'll get back to you, dude. Mm-hmm. Well... Let's go see what Mr. Coleman has to say now that we have all the... Whoa, dude, that's really creepy eyeliner. I think Yellow you isn't your color. Sure. Alright. Do you have the ship data ready for a data check? Yes, I do. Sure. Good. Then pass it on to me, and I'll request a system check. Alright. What's the IMO number? No. Oh. Uh, 524 the Fisher's home port. Uh, what the heck was it called? Deckendale. Port Deckendale. Call name? Uh, TKKB. There we go. TKKB. We're just missing the ship's owner now. Oh, that would be Nemo. <coughs> Captain Hook. <laughs> the Nautilus, Lloyd's of London, or the Nemo Shipping Company. I think we'll Nemo go with Nemo. Company. So, then let's get on with the plausibility check. Okie dokie. Hmm. Yeah. That sounds plausible. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds plausible. That's great. Thanks, Coleman. Let's see what those results are. Okay. Whoa. Now. A little bit dim there, isn't it? What do we got going on here? That's our lab. That's the uh scientist guy that can do tests and such for us uh hmm. not sure oh, somebody's ready room oh that will take us yes you can walk around the entire vessel up down along the sides wherever you want to go and uh Wee! <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it's like too, people, let me tell you. We used to do uh, transfers of goods from ship to ship. We'd run a line across. And uh, yeah, in seas like this, entire vessels would disappear between swells. Quite amazing. 
All right. Ooh. Takes us a second for our eyes to adjust. There we go. And there's Fatima, still sitting in the galley, having her toast. Let's talk to her toast. No, <laughs> we'll talk to Fatima. Sorry, I just have another quick question. <coughs> another? You didn't ask her nothing yet. Oh, here we go. Captain Figment. What do you think about the Captain Figment? These deep sea fishers. I'm not the biggest fan of those. Well, as they're allowed to fish here, all we do is run our check, and then everyone can get on with their business. Remember, Finn, if somebody has Orange Ruffy or Alfonsinos as their catch, then those fishing boats uh -huh. have to undergo a specific separate check. Okay. That's right. Okay, he's fishing Alfonsinos. You need the required license for that around here. Right, I'm going to need to check that right away. I'd best radio them right now to clarify that. Well, it's a good thing the rest of my crew is so sharp, because I'm a no, bit of a dumps. <laughs> well, thank you, I were Fatima. Mm. Oh, here, I thought this was a fridge, darn it. I was going to grab a quick something, something, something for breakfast, but yeah, it don't look like we'll be doing that. Let's head back up. Oops, I'm stuck. Give me fat butt. Maybe I don't need something, something for breakfast. All right, so what I do need to do is find out about these licenses. I actually have a few questions. Yes? Uh, do you have it? You're fishing for Alfonsinos with bottom trolls? Yes. Do you have the required license for the bordering state? Yes. Well, the license should be here somewhere. Can I just email it to you? Uh-huh. That's, that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't sound suspicious at all. It might take a while. We still have to find it among all our documents. All right, we'll get right back to you. New frog book entry. All right. Captain Figman is looking for his deep sea license. Colm will notify me when he's provided it. I'll use the time to discuss uh, with Coleman and Fatima. All right. Well, I don't know as they really have a lot to say. Hmm. That's odd, eh? All the other glass works, but in fact the piece of glass in the door does not. Same with this one. Weird. Alright, you got anything to say to me, boy? Huh? Huh? No? No? Oh, well. Didn't mean to bother you there, Buil. What we got in here? Oh, this has got to be my ready room. Nice. <laughs> Nothing there, dude. Alright, so you got nothing to say, but they tell me I should talk to... Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, well, like I wasn't just there, fella. There we go. And we'll grab this. And we'll take it down for Fatima's collection. Oh, Fatima, darling, where are you? There you are. Oh, what's this? Missing. Someone stole my pencil. I needed a SAP. I'll be waiting for it. <laughs> really? Oh my God! It's a Coast Guard crisis. Hey, Fatima. Sorry, I just have another quick question. Yes. I thought she was like your girlfriend, man. What do you keep apologizing for? Uh. Oh. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Yeah, I've already got that. Um, well, I gotta get going. Yeah, I don't actually. What I need to do here is uh, give you this. Here, there's his license. The Captain Figment emailed me their license. Anything out of the ordinary? Hmm. Hmm. Everything seems to be in order here. The trawler is allowed to fish the Alfonsino. Then, I think I've finally realized the problem here. Check. Apparently, I can't yeah. read. Everything's fine. It flies the flag of the coastal state and has all the required registrations. 
Thanks, Coleman. The deep sea fishing license is here, too. Well, then once you get to work pumping the water out of their ship, and then we can get out of here, too. Can you inform the figment about the results? Will do. Alrighty. So, we can, uh, I keep thinking it's that one, it's this one. Head back up here. And. I actually have a few questions. No, actually I have some information. We run a check on the information you gave us. And now we have to arrest you. <laughs> oh, or, or that. You wouldn't believe how much time these constant controls cost me. Oh, here we go. Now that everything's fine, he's just gonna whine. But we have to keep an eye on these things. But we already get checked very thoroughly. And we do our part and keep to the fishing quotas. Why don't you take a look at the oil industry? Oh, God. here we go. time bombs. And nobody's checking them. And I'm not even talking about their yield. At least our haul can reproduce and grow back. Uh huh. Well, that can also take 20 to 30 years with these DC fish. Ah, uh, but you can't compare the two. That <laughs> offshore oil rig alone is pretty suspicious if you ask me. Hmm. Offshore. That oil company. Offshore. Well, I guess, uh. <laughs> I guess that's a good name for an offshore oil company. Offshore. Hmm. Have you been on the rig? Been on the offshore oil rig recently? Not personally, but I always pass by pretty close on my fishing routes. Hmm. Well, I heard a bunch of loud screaming and talking last night. That was pretty strange. There's not usually a lot of partying going on there late at night. Hmm. What did you see? What did you see? Well, a while ago there was a refugee boat that docked there. A refugee and boat. shortly afterwards. There was even another one. <laughs> Good English, buddy. I thought it was pretty strange and expected you guys from the Coast Guard to show up at any second. But you never, but you did. never did. Hmm. You took in refugees without informing us. That's quite the tactical gear he's wearing, eh? <laughs> Alright, well, thank you. Thank you very much for the information. Those statements have made me curious. We should go take another closer look at the oil rig. But first, we have to drain the figment. We'll get on it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like to do in the morning is drain the old figment. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. I just had to say that. Oh, it would appear the entire day has passed. Press tabulator. That's the tab key for those of us that aren't super computer hoop de doop de the tabulator. Alright, new logbook entry. Information about strange occurrences at the offshore oil op oh that's hard. Offshore oil <laughs> rig of roused my suspicions. I need to head out there again with my team and the daughter boat to make sure nothing strange is going on. Hmm. Well, I think, guys, we're going to... Uh... Oh, man, this is just absolutely gorgeous out here, honey. Before we... Uh... Oh, what, now you won't let me outside? Is there a reason for that? That's weird. Oh. There we go. <laughs> they say, well, it's weird, usually they let you walk out the doors. Wow, that's just amazing. And I think, guys, that we're going to uh, call it here for this time around. We've had our first look. We've got our water monitors. Very neat. And I'm sure at some point we will be using those to put out fires. But until then, and until our next look, this has been Coast Guard. I'm really excited. Hope you guys are too. If you are, please hit the old like button. It really helps out. And, uh, well, this has been Species 7. We will uh, see you around next time. Take care of each other, folks. Well, let's take a nice screenshot here. There we go. Ciao for now. <laughs>